exciting destination for the night. And um, again, thank you, thank you for sharing your time with us. And we are all here this morning at the CDRRMO Emergency Operations Center, Operation Third <laughs> Press Conference Venue. We are intimate here this morning. And we are all gathered here for the media launching and the press conference of the first the Now City International Ultra Trail happening next year, sanctioned by Asia Trail Master. This is an annual trail running championship series in Asia. So the Now City, as well as its partners events. Now we have the events team organized by Virago and the rest of our partner sponsors. We are very much excited as this sets another milestone in the Now City's Sports tourism, unifying participants from across the globe, the country, and the local community as we empower grassroots development. And for our, um, for our viewers via the Now City Government Facebook page, please don't miss to share this live streaming because we have prepared prizes for everyone. And for our on-site guests here, ayaw mo kalimot sa pag. Science attendance, kay automatic appeal mo sa raffle because we have, yeah, exciting prizes for everyone. Okay? So just to name a few, we have from Kevlar, Rudy Project, we have Fit Bar and Comida Foods. And we also will be giving away events shirts. So, guapo kayo ang mga t-shirts karon. Yes, wala ba'y pakpak deha? Take mga tagan. So this morning, as we will officially start this, no, we will be providing you with information, including the Now City Sports Tourism, preparedness, and uh, all you need to know about this event, including the registration, the distances, 
um, the prizes and as well as the sponsors. And we will discuss in a while. Our panel will also answer questions here, thrown by our media friends. Ready na ta? Uy, nagluya. Ready na ta? Right, so now joining this morning or the following, we have the now City Mayor, Honorable Thomas Mark Mix Durano. Right. The now City Tourism Chair, Honorable Carmen Remedios Ivy Durano. The now City Sports Development Officer, Mr. Vincent Paulo Sibico. The now City RMO Chief, Mr. Roland Jigjig Reyes. Event organizer of Virago Sports Management Services, Ms. Marites Bit Bit. Excited. We have Mr. Glenford Paul Bangan. All right. And also joining us this morning are our virtual guests who'd like to be here, but due to equally important commitments, no, they are with us virtually. So if we can, are, are they ready? Because our press conference is. A mixture of both. We have hybrid, so we have on-site and we have virtual as well. So are, are they ready? Or maybe we will have them later on if they are not yet ready because we all know that when we have virtual no, mga engagements, we always have the technical difficulty. So to proceed, i just like to acknowledge them one by one so that um, our friends here on site, we'll also know if, in case they have um, questions in a while for our virtual guests. Joining the virtual guests here, we have the marketing, Ayusana uh, Marketing, Mr. Leo Kim. We also have from Comida Foods, Mr. Alan Alfred Jose, from Excellent Noodles, Mr. Alex Bilan. Rudy Project Marketing Manager, Ms. Marge Camacho. Gardenia Marketing Manager, Mr. Ramel Bigyan. Medical and Dental Mission Team for Vescom, Mr. Michael Dion Costes. Miss Grace Bacuerfo, you will know later on why we have Zumba joiners here. Rudy Project Cebu Manager, Mr. Marlon C. Yadong. Ultra Runner, Miss Cheryl Bihag. Fit Cam Coach Carlo Sumayang. Transition One Owner and Ultra Runner, Mr. Miguel Lopez. 
And joining also from the University of San Carlos Mountaineering, Mr. Georgian Alcumendras. And from the uh, USC Athletics Director, Mr. Bernard Ricablanca. Yoga expert, Ms. Karen Valdez. And we have runners and from Guam, represented by Ms. Mylene Garcia. United Kingdom trail runner, Trish Bloomfield. Hong Kong trail runner, Greg Smith. Another yoga expert here, we joining. And for the Asia Trail Master, the founder, again, founder of the Asia Trail Master, Mr. Chris Van De Velde, who will be joining us later virtually because uh, he'd like to come here, but not a commitment. All right. And um, most importantly, our guest here, thank you very much for coming. And acknowledgement also for our media friends both from the traditional and non-traditional media who are here. So I think everyone deserves a big round of applause. Your presence here is very, very much appreciated. Now, let's go directly to our discussion. Now, each of the members of the panel will be given a chance to share information uh, or updates with regard to their respective field of preparation for the coming uh, upcoming events. And after the last member of this panel is done sharing, we will be opening the floor for discussion and questions for smooth flow. Ready na ba? Ready. <laughs> ready na? Mga unta fit bar. Para ready na and energized. Okay, to start with our discussion and to open this uh, media launching and press conference, please help me in welcoming our city mayor, Mayor Thomas Mark Mix Durano. Thank you, Ma'am Mitch. Uh, to our virtual guests, uh, to our friends and sports enthusiasts around the world, uh, to media friends, Ako mga kaigsuunan, dari sa Danao, good morning and welcome. Danao is an ecologically diverse city with its peaks as one of the tourist attractions. With our expansion of sports tourism into sports eco-trail, this launching gives us the coverage we desire. A power-packed opportunity for the tourism boost that we need. And I am proud to inform you that Danao is a home of four magnif magnif magnificent peaks. Mount Lantawan, Mount Manghilaw, Mount Likos Peak, and Mount Ugis. Danao Distinguished Outdoor Recreation is a chance to economic impact. Eco-trail industry is important economic driver enhance the dynamism of tourism and creates communities a more desirable place to live. More so, we are promoting the conservation of our environment and natural landscapes. Our tourism links to offering tremendous opportunities for protecting plants and animal species as we gear up into sports eco-trail. Our warmest gratitude to our participants, especially to those coming from international community. And thank you so much for joining us, for recognizing one of the sports riches we cherish here in Danao. Again, good morning. Hey, well, thank you so much, Mayor Hicks. Now let's proceed to our city councilor and the committee chair for Tourism and Beautification and External Affairs, Honorable Carmen Remedios I.V. Durano. Um, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and members of the press, maayong buntag, no kanatong tanan. I am very truly honored to be here in front uh, as the chairman of the Committee on Tourism of the Now City. And I am very much thrilled as well to introduce to you the first Danao City International Ultra Trail, an event that promises to showcase the enthralling peaks of Danao City. Danao City nestled in the heart of Cebu, 
is a place of extraordinary nat natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. It is a city that prides itself on preserving the essence of its roots while embracing the spirit of adventure. Our landscape with its magnificent mountains such as the Mount Lantawan, the Mount Manghilaw, the Licos Peak, and the iconic Mount Mago offers an adventure like no other. These peaks standing tall and proud beacon adventure seekers for around the world. The first, the Now City International Ultra Trail, is a testament to our commitment to promoting sports adventure tourism. It is, it is not just a race. It's an exploration of our city's hidden gems where athletes will push their limits against the backdrop of our breathtaking scenery. Our event is a celebration of nature and endurance, an opportunity to connect with the land and its rich cultural history. This event will take you on an incredible journey through the captivating peaks of the Nao City, including, as mentioned, Mount Lantawan, Mount Manghilaw, the Licos Peak, and Mount Mago. Let's start with Mount Lantawan. This mountain is truly a gem of the Nao City, with its enthralling and alluring formation. Uh, the American geologists have been coined the term hogback to describe its unique shape. However, the locals in the area, it's affectionately known as Boko Boko Saanay. This is just one example of the rich tapestry of culture and tradition that you can experience when you visit the Nao City. Next is Mount Manghilaw. On the other hand, it's not just a mountain. It's a place of spiritual significance, known for its pilgrimage site in Cebu, and it has drawn countless visitors seeking solace, reflection, and deep connection to the spiritual heritage of this city. The cultural and religious diversity of the Nao City is something that we are immensely proud of, and it's an integral part of our tourism product. Next is the Licos Peak, which has a fascinating history. It has been, or it has deep ties to the coal mining industry, which played a significant role in the development of our city. By exploring the history of Licos Peak, visitors can gain insights into the economic evolution of the Nao and its people. And lastly, Mount Mago. A magnificent, a magnificent path that will take average hiker to a sanctuary form of the clouds. It is a common hike trail and camping ground. For anyone in search of a bre breath of fresh air, Mount Mago is the place to be. The lush landscape draws a breathtaking. The fog-forming seas below the peaks give the illusion of heaven. The first Danao City International Ultra Trail
I'm sure that our media friends have the questions prepared for you, but we will have it reserved later on. And we will now proceed to the Denouncing Sports Development Officer, Mr. Vincent Paolo Sibico. Um, hello, good, good morning, everyone. So, Danaha has always been the venue of of choice for decades. For example, we have our Sea Games, Asian Games, and the list continues. Um, so we are so excited on this international event. Uh, thank you. Good morning. Hi, thank you. Thank you so much. So, Paolo, I know you will have maybe answered a lot of questions that we have prepared for you. Um, so we will now let's proceed to the event organizer of Virango Sports Management Services, Ms. Marites Bitbit. Mayin buntag sa tanan. Wala pa ka breakfast siguro. Naimbag ka bigat kanyayo amin. Mayong adlaw, mayin buntag sa tanan. Kabwasanod si kayo namin. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. And good morning. To our virtual guests, thank you for taking time to join this. And especially in here, all the people involved. Dagang salamat. So in here, I am Marites Bitbit, as you know, a mountain biker. I was a mountain biker and a member of the Philippine National Cycling Team for 16 years. And I was groomed here in the Now City, way back 1997, when I first joined the National mountain bike. We're in. Uh, it's my first time, and then I finished third. Uh, I was lucky enough to finish. Then I was so thankful that uh, the now city government, <laughs> kay Mayor Nito, before na every now and then mag bike me. We go to, for a bike ride, morning or afternoon. And that was the time when I fully developed my potential as an athlete, but as a cyclist, not a trail runner this time. I was born September 13, and my subject sign is Virgo. And we decided to have this organization called Virago. Because it's from Latin word, meaning it's a female warrior. So it's a female warrior mean me as an athlete, me as a soldier, me as a trail rider, adventure racer, kayaker, and a soldier athlete and now as an organizer. I've been through a lot of times. I've been through many difficulties we're in. I'm still passionate. When I was here in 1997, I did join the Asian Mountain Bike Championship. Nagcrash ako. I was airlifted. But from there, I didn't... Lupe with Pio, and then it's so hard to find 100 kilometers in one area. And then I finally decided to contact Sir Roland if we could possibly.
Okay, there could be some uh, technical problem, so I just go on. So while waiting, uh, uh, go back, it's a poster, we go on the poster. So this event is happening in Danao City, of course. Uh, with the help of the local government unit and the Danao City Tourism. Uh, and with all the people around, especially with the uh, Maragana San Norte, uh, different uh, individuals coming all together. So we have here the poster, finally, uh, featuring the Mount Hilao. And then we have four different distances of 15 kilometers, 30, 50, and 100. As you can see, there is our different uh, registration fee. So uh, we have local and foreign participants. And this one will be included on the online platform later on uh, from the race, yeah, yeah, because uh, they are our uh, digital platform partner uh, regarding this. And of course, this event is uh, organized by Virago. We are a group of uh, professional athletes some of them organizers, some of them office workers, some of them uh, mountain biker and a cyclist. It's a mix of uh, individual. And of course, this is a professional, the Asia Trail Master is a professional sports league. And as I mentioned a while ago, it is the premier edition and the first international ultra trail race in, in Cebu, uh, I think. Uh, we have here some, uh, Cebu City organizers of the trail and trail runners. So they are also excited to uh, have this event. And we will be using an online platform for the registration and all the details will be into it. So our participants, interested participants, can take a look later if they will be registered to join. But we encourage them to join because this is also a, a for our physical and mental uh, uh, wellness. So for the distances I mentioned earlier, we have four, right? So they could choose from there, either 15, 30, 50, or 100. So I'll, I'll show you. Next slide, please. Uh, for the map, it shows uh, the, yes, next, 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 next slide, please, next. So that's a map of our 15 kilometer. Uh, and then later on, Harrison will be talking about the route itself. So you can see the beauty in here. Uh, as you go along, all the 15 runners, this is a doable trail. This is a doable route because it is also for road runner. So Harrison later will add more to that. So next slide, please. We will show the 30 kilometer route. And next slide, please, for our 50 kilometer route. And for the 100, it's so lovely, isn't it? You'll see. <laughs> so we encourage everyone to join this. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Next slide, please. So in here, you, you will see an overlay of the map that we have the four distances on how we did this. So thankful for all the people, especially for the Managana uh, for the as a course setter. And of course, our participants for all the distances, for the aid stations, especially for the 100 kilometer distance, they will be expecting food from our sponsors. So in here, you can see, we have the comida foods for energy bar, cookies, Pepsi, they will be giving us Gatorade, Fit Bar, they have Nature Spring, 
uh, the Fly Ace uh, Corporation is a mix of different brands that they will be sponsoring us. And then excellent, of course, and macchiato. Uh, so we have now coffee during the race. And a daily fix uh, added to it. And of course, especially for the Filipino, hindi mawawala ang rice. And then there will be banana, a watermelon, pineapple, and of course, a chicken adobo in a pancit. And for the categories, this is so exciting because normally about all races here, mostly here, uh, it, we only have open categories and a limited age category. But this is so unique, especially for the women empowerment because we added these categories. We have open. This is open for the foreign participants. You're so excited. <laughs> Are you joining? Everybody will join. <laughs> and we have seven age category. Uran is the first race here in Cebu. I guess it's first in Philippines. Yeah. Thank you for that, Ms. Lyra, for the comment. So we have here the open category, and then the 90 to 29, 30 to 35, 36 to 40, 41 to 45, 46 to 50, 51 to 55, 56 and above, both men and women. So from there, everybody, or each one of you, we encourage you to join, because this is for all ages from 19 above. Okay? Are you encouraged now to join? Yes. Yes, thank you for that. So, for our participants coming in uh, from different regions and coming from uh, any place from Luzon, besides Mindanao. Uh, next slide, please. Oh, okay. This is the map coming from the airport to Danao City, wherein it will take you about an hour and 22 minutes by either bus, by van or by jeep. Okay, next slide, please. So in here, you can see the registration fee. All right, next slide, please. For the registration, so I, I mentioned earlier, uh, for the foreign and local, you have an early bird fee and the registration rate. So early bird starts as soon as this afternoon until 30 November for the uh, early bird. And for the regular rate, it will start by uh, 1 December until 10 January. So our friends here and abroad, if you want to join, we encourage you to click the registration link, link later. And thank you. And for the inclusions, next slide, please. So in here, uh, for all the distances, for all the registrations on the different distances, 15, 30, 50, and 100, and we start on for the longest distance for the 100 kilometer and 50 kilometer, they will receive each participant a long sleeve. Itong so namin, long sleeves. Everyone will get this. And uh, race bib, of course, from race, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, race bib, uh, made of TVEC. Uh, uh, and a timing bracelet from race, yeah, yeah, because this is, uh, we use a uh, uh, timing chip for this, and not manually uh, timed. So it's, uh, we could record the accurate timing and results for each participant. And of course, they will receive a mosette. Uh, sorry, uh, can you, later we show the, the, the mosette. Because normally uh, races uh, in Philippines, uh, we use a sling bag, right? So for this event, because it's so unique, we are using mosette bag. It's like a shoulder bag na you could use anywhere. And of course, the finisher for this category will receive a finisher medal. It's uh, four inches, made of wood. And of course, they will also receive a certificate. 
And again, this is so unique because we're not be using ordinary paper. We will be using a PVC type of material for the individual certificate. And of course, they will also receive raffle entry. They will be uh, items from our sponsors. Uh, one of this is a discount from Rudy Parjak. Thank you, Mom March, for that, and Sir Marlon. And of course, 20% discount from ROX, Ayala, and SMC side. And we go on for the 30 kilometer. Basically, it's all the same. They will receive the items, long sleeve, race bib, timing, bracelet, musset, t-shirt, medal, certificate, raffle entry, and coupon. And for the 15 kilometer, it's only the finisher t-shirt that we will not be receiving. But all the rest, they will have. And then, uh, we have here for the mandatory Gear, of course, because we are into the safety and security of our participants, we are requiring everyone to have this gear uh, because during the race, there will be a committee who will be uh, checking all the mandatory gear list that each runner will be bringing along the course. Uh, this is uh, included on the online platform, so it will take me a long time. It will take long to, to explain everything. But for the safety and security, we are requiring mandatory gears. And then also a qualification for 100 kilometer that they had a proof of entry or finished either 50 kilometer or 70 kilometer three years ago. So next slide, please. We also added here the other recommended equipment, but not limited to, it depends, because we are ensuring the safety and the enjoy, enjoyment of the trail that everybody can go farther and then they are safe to proceed to the next station to another station. So all in here, 100 kilometer, 50, 30 kilometer, and 15 kilometer have, on, have their own recommended gear, of course. Next slide, please. And of course, for the awards, uh, I already mentioned uh, the long sleeve, the Mousset finisher t-shirt, and the medal, the trophy, and the bib. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Bad Beat for our this, uh, official outfitter for this event, uh, the, for our long sleeve and t-shirt. So in here, next slide, please. We will show you, because of the color branding from the Danao City Tourism, we also, from Virago and uh, Managana Sanorti, we also have this color branding. So for our bib number, next slide, please. For the 15 kilometer, uh, we have the blue color. Next slide, please. And for the 30 kilometer, they have the yellow color. And for the 50, all runners will wear a green colored bib number. And for the 100 kilometer, all participants will wear this color of 100 kilometer. So in here, next slide, please. We'll show you an image, but it's so obvious already we're wearing the long sleeve tee that we will be giving away to all the participants, registered participants. And then, of course, now, next slide, please. This is the Moset I was talking about. This is usually for cyclists, but all of us decided to have this kind of freebie. Okay, we have a model here. Show us, Jeway. <laughs> so in here, okay, that's for the 15 kilometer. And of course, we have the Moset for the 30 kilometer. Wow. Woo. Where is the Moset? Yellow. You're back. Oh, okay. So 
That's our t-shirt. That's also the color of our mosaic. And next is our 50 kilometer. We have this green color. Nice one, guys. Okay, for the 100 kilometer, we have this to show you. This color. So every runner will be recognized by these colors. 15 for blue, yellow for 30, green for 50, and purple pink for 100. And then, of course, uh, you've seen already the front. So, guys, can you uh, turn back? We'll show them. So, that's all we're going to put all the sponsors that will indicate also that they're the finisher of particular distance. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Next slide, please. And before I forgot, this event actually is so unique because Mom Ivy and the local government of UNIT and Sir Roland decided to have four geo. All trail runners, they were already part of the job order for the, the now city tourism. Because this event is not only a one-time event, this will be a long-term event. We're in, we're encouraging everyone, sports enthusiasts, trail running enthusiasts, especially now that we have an area or a venue for trail running, for hiking. This trail will be maintained and then later on will be used for tourists. So we have something to offer for everyone who will be interested to visit the now city. And then, of course, our family who would like to go up the mountain, walk, or hike. So next slide, please. This is going to be exciting because we will be showing you the cash prizes. So normally, uh, races, uh, they don't have cash prizes. But this time, for the first Danau City International Ultra Trail, we are giving and offering cash prizes for our open category in age categories. We're in for the 100. We have the open category that for men and women, they will be receiving. This is in pesos. So, uh, friends, uh, especially in Hong Kong, in Thailand and Malaysia, I mean, we will encourage you to join because this uh, race is part of the Asia Trail Master Series here in you'll be earning points for that particular event. So for the national level, we have for the 100 kilometer for the men and women, we'll have 10,000, 7,000, 5,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1, 5, 1,000. So you can see top 10, they have cash prices. And apart from that, for the age categories, that I've mentioned, the seven categories, they will also receiving cash prizes, which is from 4,000, 3,000, and 2,000, both for men and women. That's for the 100 only. And for the 50 kilometer, next slide, please. This is also a category for men and women, wherein they will be receiving cash prizes. Same for the open and age category, there will be monetary prizes. And also for the 30 kilometer, this one, uh, the prices for this age category, apart from cash prices, trophy, and they will also receive gift items from our sponsors. And for the 30 kilometer, we also have these prices for the men and women. And then for the 15 kilometer category, men and women as well. All these details will be included on the online platform by the race, yeah, yeah. So, of course, next slide, please. When we, in, when we join any kind of race, all of us expect something. It's like a reward. So, in here, you can see the medal. With each 
type of, with each color also. It was determined for each distances. 15, 30, 50, and 100. So you could see here the design of the medal. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Okay. Okay, uh, this is an uh, image of our T-shirt was uh, so obvious uh, you've seen a while ago. So this is for all the finishers. So next slide. All interested participants who want to join this race, of course, they can choose their own sizes. So we have included here the sizing chart. This will be included on the online platform as well. This is for the long sleeves and the short sleeves. Okay, next slide, please. And of course, one of the best reward for any runner or any participants or any athlete like me, there will be a trophy to be given away. This is for the uh, top 10 winners, all categories. 15, 30, 50, and 100 they will receive this trophy made of wood. You can see the design and then each distance will show the elevation. Next slide, please. So, as I mentioned a while ago, this race is so unique because uh, all participants will receive a certificate made of PVC material. Next slide, please. And of course, during the race, all runners, in order for them not to get lost, we will be using a marker, a ribbon, uh, which is reflectorized. And of course, with the color itself, the 15, 30, and 50, and 100, all runners in different categories will see this ribbon. So they will, not, uh, they will not be lost. And this will be all, all along the course, like 100 meters apart. So apart from the marker, there will be a marshal station in a particular area. So it does, sometimes even me, I get lost. Uh, but in our race this coming January, we'll have a marshal station especially on the, uh, like, uh, uh, intersection. Next slide, please. Okay, we, wa we want to show you also the venue map. Uh, we're in the race will start from the now city in front of Manu Amon, and then it will finish in Manu Amon as well. And I forgot to mention uh, that the 100 kilometer race is 80% trail and 20% road. And then later, uh, Harrison will uh, tell more about the details. Next slide, please. Okay. This section is uh, kind of a bit special because of course, local government of Danao City, and then with the help of our sponsors, Naana Jutai Playground for Danao City, wherein we could offer to different cities and towns, and of course, to different regions. As this is an Asia Trail Master Series, the premier edition, we're so proud. Even me, I'm even prouder, because it's the first international event in Cebu and is an affiliate trust sanction wherein a lot of runners and the national athletes, the national, uh, how you call this, uh, trail runners, were, uh, some of them were already invited and then we encouraged them to participate, especially those ones on the elite category. And of course, uh, we have here the Western Guarantee Corporation. Uh, our event is uh, insured 
just uh, for the information. And for our next uh, sponsor, uh, Fly Ace Corporation. Uh, they will, uh, and to tell you, we'll be having more sponsors from Fly Ace because they have different brands. So there will be an additional uh, sponsors to our event coming this year, coming January. And of course, you, Sana, we have thank you for supporting this event and for the Managana Isa Norte uh, for setting the course for everybody and the race Yaya for our online platform and the race timing. And of course, Salomon for coming and T8 as well as one of our sponsors. Comida Foods, excellent, Nature Spring, Fit Bar, Pepsi, Macchiato, we have now coffee along the trail, a Rudy Project, and Kevlo. After race, we can have our facial wash. <laughs> and then we also have Gardenia and Delifix. And of course, uh, I want to introduce, uh, like to mention this as a 53rd Engineer Brigade because I'm a, a part of the organization as well. So, having revealing some, or maybe 80%, 90% of the event details, I am so excited of this uh, kind of particular event because uh, it's been like a dream because I didn't uh, like close my mind or I decided to have more uh, different kind of sports wherein we can improve or to help for the women empowerment and the grassroots development. This actually is the first event that we are trying to offer to different regions. And then this one also about this trail running. Uh, Sir Roland will uh, have, uh, have some details for this. And then the event is so unique as I mentioned. And then I thank it, uh, everyone, friends here and abroad for supporting this and making it happen. And then of course, this time I'll not, I will not be joining. I will not be running, but I will be organizing this race and directing with the help of each one of us in here. And of course, with the participants coming over here and abroad. And of course, all of you people here who came to support this event. Thank you so much and good morning. Mayang buntag, limbang nabigat. Kabusan si kayo namin. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, i a little overview lang sa trail running, no? Kay medyo wala pa siguro kay ma kwan ma uh, mergamay pag event trail running sa Cebu. So, uh, trail running is popular worldwide, uh, mostly ani sa Europe ug sa kining Asia sa Vietnam ug sa Thailand. Uh, sige sige na ang trail running. Uh, thankful ta sa Birago nga ni Sud, first 100 trail run sa diri sa Cebu. Uh, usually na ay trail run diri sa Cebu, but uh, murag backyard ko, uh, kanang ko alam, kanang ginagmay nga trail running ba. Uh, pamutan o ang magma. But uh, first international trail run is uh, kanipa sa Danau. So running in trail, uh, involves different tracks, different uh, terrain. Makaagi mo uh, river crossing, makaagi mo og cliff. Uh, daghag challenges ang trail running di pareha sa, kuan, di pareha sa kining road run. Ya, uh, lisud sag ang downhill, lisud sag ang uphill. So, uh, try mo invite ni sa katong trail runner sa Cebu uh, o sa ubang taga Mindanao na suway ninyo ang course, ang 100 km trail track diri sa Danao. Dagang salamat din may buntag. Uh, good morning everyone. Um, I'm Herson Ipil and uh, trail runner also for short and long distance uh, category. And, and also I'm a president of a small trail, trail running team here in Danao City. Uh, together with my team, MSN, and we are lucky enough to have been tapped by Mama Ritis Bit Bit, that is the director of this event, and paved to the course for this prestigious event, the first ever international trail ultra uh, city is holding. This, uh, this, this will be able to showcase 
the beautiful mountainous areas of the Nau City and its capability to, to be one of the best trail running sites here in Cebu. So to give everyone the glimpse of the various trail routes, we are able to sit the following courses for the race, which will start at the same uh, starting point, uh, which located in the Manung Amon Plaza. So for the 15 kilometer track, kanang dili lang kaya nako i detali ang rota no para kain kanang para night kinang excitement ba kanang mga concert sila mas surprise. So as uh, as expected, 15 kilometer 15 15 kilometer route is uh, manageable and runnable rugged. So but still uh, offers a challenge to the runners with downhill and uphill terrain. So everybody is welcome kaning kaninga kaninga rota kay murag mga for beginner na bisag pista mo nimo kaya kay ninyo ana. And then for 30 kilometer uh, 30 kilometer challenge turn up the notch. Uh, this this will highlight Likus Peak, also known as hiking spot in the Nau City, which uh, is one of the technical areas of the route. Um, features a very rocky terrain and extreme downhill path. So, uh, for 30 kilometer, Nami, Nami Toluca, Toluca Aid Station. Yeah, for, for, for first aid station, that is Baliang, Take 10 kilometer from the from the starting uh, line. Then uh, for Ed, Ed Station Two, that is Likos, and we have cut off time uh, in that Ed Station. Three to five hours, uh, ang cut off ana dapat maabot nagit ang runners ang nga time. Then for the cutoff time for the entire uh, 30 kilometer is 9 hours. So, kaya ragid kaya, you know? Cutoff time, 30, 30 hours. No. 9 hours, 9 hours. 9 hours. For 30 kilometers. Then, for 50 kilometers, uh, Danau City, 3 peaks, Likos Peak, Lantawan Peak. Uh, Lantawan Peak is, which is an area yet uh, to be fully unveiled and discovered. And lastly, the famous Mount Manghilaw, which is also a very famous trail route in the now. Uh, terrain terrains expected to be more challenging with the same uphill and downhill by river crossing along with these trails. So for, 30, for 50 kilometer, um, we have also same, same, same aid station in Baliang for 10 kilometer from the starting point and same aid station in Likos, Likos Barangay Hall that is 17 kilometer and also we have cut off in that uh, aid station. Uh, in Barangay Likos we have also uh, cut off time for 3 hours. So dapat ang runners makaabot na gid siguro uh, in that time. no. Then also the aid station Number four, that is aid station four, 46, 46, 36 kilometers. Cut off time is nine hours. And the entire uh, 50 kilometer is 15 hours cut off. 15 hours. 15, 15 for 50 kilometers. So, Murag, taas na Then, for 100 kilometer, Nindut, beautiful route. So for 100 kilometer, uh, offers very more challenging terrain. All kinds terrain, uh, all kinds of terrain in this route, with more river crossing also. So 100 kilometer is completing the four peaks. Uh, so 50 kilometer is Toloramanto, the Likos Peak the Lantawan Peak and Mount Manghilao. This one is including also the Mount Mago. So uh, Mount Mago is a grassland scenic area of the now. Um, that is grassland area. Then whether you run the 15 kilometer or 100 kilometer at its maximum, uh, we can assure you all the participants, they will enjoy the race and experience as they won't forget. So uh, I and my team teammates Especially 
that we have been really hands-on on this course uh, are very proud of this as it's the first ever international trail or ultramarathon here in Cebu. So, I hope nga tanan mag magkita-kita ta sa trail and uh, thank you so much and God bless us all. Hello. Okay, uh, good morning sa Tanano. Uh, welcome to Danao City. Um, I'm Jerry Contelia. Uh, I'll be I'll be assisting with uh, uh, Sir Herson Epel, no? So uh, with the road. So I, I'll be assigning in um, safety and uh, security, no? So road. But um, I will let uh, Sir Jack Jack Roland Reyes for us uh, there for discussing the safety and security. Actually, I'm also a. Uh, uh, I've been wor working here sa Sincidere mo. So that's why um I'm uh ning tabang na yapon ko sa with the uh kining ni facilitate sa 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 run. And I'm also a member of the MSN, no? So ako na lang ihatag ni Sir Jack Jack in regards to presentation of the safety and security of the entire roads. And uh thank you and good morning. Okay, good morning to each and everyone. Um, I am Roland Jikjik Reyes, the Department Head of the City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office. So I am tasked to make sure the, uh, to provide safety and immediate response to all the participants, including the responders. So we will be activating the incident management team using the ICS system. So CDRMO will be coordinating with other agencies such as the PNP, the Bureau of Fire, including our volunteers. So um, the now city has been a haven for extreme sports. So we've been hosting international events from mountain bike, off-road, motocross, and other um, sporting events in this city. So dili na ni bago for the CDRMO. But of course, we're still excited being part as the lead agency in the city in providing safety and immediate response to our uh, participants. So to give you a uh, bird's eye view, we will be activating five advanced command posts or substations all throughout the entire city of the now. So we will provide um, 70 to 100 search and rescue retrieval and emergency medical services, fully trained on mountain search and rescue and EMS. So CDRMO um, will be providing those personnel on uh, different subs, uh, substations. So. All throughout the aid station, Agitay naka deploy dito. We will be using coordinates. So we will be providing coordinates to the nearest medical aid station to the participants. Para sila na mismo katultol sila in case dili nagin nila makaya. So uh, we will deploy our resources such as ambulances. We will be deploying 10 ambulances, including advanced command uh, post and uh, using 4x4 vehicles, drones, in order lang para lang yun, doon na tayo immediate nga marisman. So, uh, for, uh, in behalf of the CDRMO, the now city is ready and we are more than ready. Good morning, everyone. Um, I, my name is Glenn Pangan uh, from ROX Ayala Center, Cebu. Um, acknowledging my fellow storehead from uh, our ROX Playground SMC site, Mr. Julius Roy. So uh, registrations, on-site registrations will be sa store. So uh, one in Ayala and also one in 
uh, SMC site. So for those na near sa south, so pabor nila ang SMC site. And sa to sa city and sa north, will be in Ayala Center, Cebu. And um, as you can see, we have like 16 doors nationwide. So we have like uh, 15, uh, 14, 14 um, sa Luzon. So what we can do sa, I guess, sa, sa Luzon is we can, we can do, we can post posters near our windows, no, for the, for the online registration, Miss Bit, correct? Uh, sa, uh, of, uh, we can po we can po we can do posting posters no para sa para sa doors where we where where, where wala makaman like unlike unlike here sa Cebu where there are uh, staff that that can man for uh, the registration online registration uh, the uh, on site registration so like uh, also we have two doors in uh, Mindanao we have a, a Brisa in Davao and uh, uh, um, Centrio and CDO, so there we can also do uh, uh, registration dito. So, pwede na siguro, pinaka best would be di ka tong sa, uh, sa posters where you can uh, post the link and um, about sa uh, about sa kaning uh, nga event. And also, we also have our Facebook page where we can we can post the link no for for the uh, for this event para ma, ma advertise ang, uh, ang ang event and also as the the link for the online registration so that for for the ROX we represent Salomon Salomon which is also a uh, top brand for uh, the trail running which what sir said na uh, uh, trail running originated in Europe and uh, Salomon is a French brand originally so then came to US and then there all right, so uh, I guess that will be all. Thank you so much. Good morning. All right, thank you, sir. Okay. So that was, uh, hello, hello. All right, that was for the on-site registration, but the question is how about the online registration? So joining us virtually, we have here, of course, from Filtra and Race Yaya. So, ato ang andamon din hi, pwede? Mapakita na to si... Are we prepared? Ready? Via Google Meet, we have Miss Tin Ferreira. Miss Tin, are you there? Can you hear us? Let's check your audio. You are still muted? Trail running is the Philippines. 
affiliated with the Philippine Athletic Traffic Field Association and the Philippine Sports Commission, also a member of the International Trail Running Association. Um, so you guys also a member of the Southeast Asian Trail Running Confederation. So, um, so yes, um, as, as uh, our representative of FILTRA, uh, our event, um, this event is um, one of the FILTRA recognized stations, and hopefully um, we're still discussing uh, on the possibilities of making it part of the championship series for next year. Um, so as a FILTRA recognized state, um, FILTRA's role is to ensure that the event is conducted in accordance um, with, uh, and, and the event is also committed to conduct the event in accordance with the trail running standards that have been, uh, have been defined and established, and to ensure the safety, and of course, the uh, more important one, the include side by side, the enjoyment of all the participants. So, uh, to ensure that everyone has a very good, very uh, challenging yet fun uh, trail running experience in the now city. And uh, secondly, as Filtra also, um, we are uh, responsible for um, for bringing in and discovering athletes. And we hope through this event, uh, through this event, we are able to um, to very uh, best mention to bring in some of the top athletes from around the country to Cebu to compete and so not just the top athletes of no, uh, so from athletes of different abilities. So we're uh, national trail running series for the elite and also for the age groupers. So so, um, so so to get their uh, much needed points to rank and be qualified in the championship. And of course, no, so not just to bring them here, but also to discover athletes in the now city itself. So we believe that oh, there are so many uh, Filipinos are, are really have the potential to become uh, world class trail runners. Where we, we have our athletes so far have been very, doing very well, dominating events here, here around Asia. And we hope one of them will soon be coming from the from Cebu and from the now city specifically. So we hope to meet them, we hope to be able to identify them. And um, lastly of course what I'd like to highlight and emphasize is free run visa sports that um, that takes people to um, to an adventure, takes people uh, closer to nature and uh, Cebu and its mountain ranges, the 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 wide uh, or, uh it was mentioned a while ago the different trails, different terrains. I myself have had experience of uh, touring Cebu on trails. I joined I, I think the Pomusa trails and I had had some trips also in in the trails uh, and nearby the city during the events that I have joined there and this is something that um, we as will try together with event organizers like the Danau City Local Government and the Virago, um, Virago organization of, um, would like to be able to promote. And we, we, we believe that uh, um, we are able to, on um, uh, the Philippines has so much to do with uh, to the world with regards to our beautiful sales useful and challenging skills and uh, we hope to be able to do that through events like the uh, first and now the international trail ultra. So first and, and, uh, first and foremost, uh, I know this is just a logic, so, but uh, I'd like to express our gratitude uh, to the organizing team, to, uh, to our the now city mayor, uh, so we thank his uh, and the whole local government should be for the support to trail running as a sports. We, um, the growth of the sports will not be possible with, um, without uh, stakeholders like um, like the local government should include its full support of its group. Um, and uh, we, we encourage uh, trail runners to come and visit uh, Cebu to, uh, 
uh, join the challenging players and enjoy it. You know? And of course, when you come in, it's not just um, not just you play a not just show event, but also um, conclude and to, uh, enjoy enjoy what it has to offer around the, around the, the now city also. The, the nearby uh, tourist destination, of course, enjoy, enjoy the event, enjoy the seat, and yeah, so uh, I guess that's it for now, and congratulations in advance to the organizing team, and uh, rest assured, the Philippine Trail Running Association, uh, the South East Asian Trail Running Confederation, and we as a member of the ISRA uh, Security Committee also would, uh, would like to express our support, and uh, and we hope we hope everything goes well with the preparation. All right. Thank you, Mam Tin. Thank you. Let's give it a big round of applause. All right, there you have it. So we are expecting you next year to come here. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, crossing fingers. Yes. And also with the Asia, Asia Trail Master, uh, Asia Trail Last. Ngamuanhi po to Sir Chris. So speaking of the founder of the Asia Trail Master himself, he'd like to be here, but since he can't, he, will, he has a message for everyone. So please focus your attention on the screen. Let's play the very short video from the founder himself. Hello everybody, I'm Chris, I'm the founder and general manager of the Asia Trailmaster Championship Series, also known as uh, ATM. I am very happy that the first edition of the Danau City International Ultra Trail in Cebu will be a candidate race for the ATM Series. Since 2015, we have been all over the Philippines with our championship series, including still last year the championship final, the conclusion of our championship on the Mount Apo, the highest mountain in the Philippines. But Danao City will be the first time we will be in Cebu, and I'm sure that this is something that all the international Asia Trailmaster fans will be looking forward to, including myself. I'm very much looking forward to coming and meet you all in Danao City at the end of January. Thank you very much. A shout out, no, di natin shout out tanan nga nagtanaw nato, but just to give you some, uh, Philippine Sports Commissioner, Commissioner Edward Heiko, Philippine Sports Commissioner, another is uh, Commissioner Bonko, and a lot of um, race organizing team across Asia. And internationally, we have Fit Camp Assistant Coach, also Mr. John Brigoli. Hello, shout out, shout out there to the Team Davao Runners. Yes, we have um, Mount Apo Ultra Trail from Alicia Bohol, the race director, Mr. Richard Anan Ananya, Tribo Pacaras, and Ugla Philippines, Sir Inchung Chu, and a lot of Runners, thank you so much for watching this live streaming. The Now City Government Facebook page, and right now the floor is open. I know you have a lot of questions there. So, okay, pabata. Okay, don't worry. Kay makakaon at fit baron mo musika etong mata, and also from Comida Foods. All right. So, when addressing a question, anyone, our media partners, and to all our participants and guests who are here on site, as soon as you get the microphone, please state your name and your, um, your affiliation and you may direct your question to our panel members here. To start, okay, um, since we have two working microphones, we can just have that. Linz, listen, all right. All right, hi, good morning everyone. Uh, Jesse from PTV Cebu. Um, this can be answered by anyone from the organizing committee. Uh, question, paano po natin na come up itong first ever Danao City International Ulta Trail and how was the preparations? Because you're talking about uh, four peaks or mountains no? as part of the uh, event. So to answer that, we'd like to have the uh, committee chair on tourism. Um, 
Again, good morning. Uh, in behalf of the local government unit of Danao, particularly on the tourism, um, speaking in behalf as the chairman of the Committee on Tourism, it is our dream no, at first to re really establish the tourism industry in Danao. And considering that Danao's um, asset is on um, the ecotourism, um, with God's blessing, uh, Marites came with an instant uh, um, planning between the LGU and Virago. And uh, we wanted to feature the four peaks of the Nau City. Um, though some of it have been known for its uh, trail already, but we wanted to establish in terms of connecting the four peaks of the Nau City as a highlight for this Echo Trail. So that's the reason why we came up uh, in, in coordination with Virago. We really emphasize that in coming up with the International Ultra Trail, to connect the four peaks as is highlight. How many months ago, or how long for your preparation for that? Um, since we first met, I think uh, it's been like a four month uh, planning already uh, until up to today. By target number po ba tayo of uh, number of participants, especially that January is also the single of season po sa Cebu? So uh, I think the organizer can um, answer that. Hi, sir. Good morning. Thank you for that question. And of course, uh, sound check. And of course, uh, for the minimum target, we have 400 at least. Uh, because this number, we have this number because of uh, uh, we already uh, have friends, we have organizations, we are affiliated to some of the trail running groups. And we encourage everyone to join this kind of event, especially it's the first of a kind here in Cebu. So we are so lucky to have this venue, especially here in the now, that we are featuring four peaks of the now city, wherein we couldn't find this one in any other uh, LDU. And then for that kind of particular number, a minimum, uh, that will include uh, participants uh, overseas, but uh, I mean, we want to expect more, but at least we have that uh, number uh, because we have distances of 15, 30, 50, and 100. And then we offer this 15 kilometer distance, not only for trail runners, but we also offer this one to road runners. So uh, maybe we could exceed that uh, minimum number of participants this coming January. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, and your question? Question from CDN Digital. Pasensya ju kayo sa to microphone kay the other one is na asay feedback yun. Yeah, good morning. I'm Nina Mi Oliverio. Also a Danawanan ma'am from Cebu Daily News Digital. Uh, my question is for Sir Roland. Sir, uh, when it comes to the preparation sa ato ang health responders, medical responders kay around how many person na lang atong i-deploy for this event? Okay, as I have said, uh, we will be activating uh, five substations. A substation, uh, it will serve as our advanced command post. So each substation will be man, uh, donated to local personnel with ambulance. So this will be substation in Danasan, Lawaan, Masama, and Baliang. That will also include the central uh, station here. So, aside from substation, can any substation magkupot po ni sila o advanced uh, staging areas? Wherein, uh, dito naka-standby our responders. So, we will have responders uh, trained on search, rescue, and retrieval operations and emergency medical services. Our 74 personnel from the CDRMO is trained on mountain search and rescue, high angle search and rescue. We will also be tapping our very own uh, search and rescue volunteer, uh, if you know Safari or the Special Assistance on Fire and Rescue Incorporated. So they already signify their uh, intention to help because partner magini nato ni sila. So we are expecting 
uh, 100 responders. And uh, I'm sure we can uh, provide that. We also we still also be tapping the national agencies like the Bureau of Fire, which is also trained on mountain search and rescue. So, money sila ang mga personnel na itong gamiton. So, um, the procedure will be, um, this will be our central command um, station. We will be coordinating for the 150 and 30 and 15. Simultaneous mangguni sila. Uh, three days, almost three days. No? Um, money sila itong contact for our advanced command post or the substation. So each substation nagkumot ni siya og barangay. So all the 42 barangays uh, nakatap gini sila tanan. So we will also be using our um, repeater system for the communication. Each responder do na ni sila radio. Our substations have also radio. We have set up repeater system for our internal operation. We have also set up repeater system for our barangay because most of our uh, staging area, we will be using the barangay hall and the covered court. So, dito nakabutang. So, as we have said, prior for the deployment, we will be sending information like uh, coordinates sa atong mga runners so that they can locate the nearest uh, staging area or command post or medical station kung kinahanglan sila og tabang aside from that uh, Birago has also top uh, mountaineers trained on uh, medical first aid like uh, the University of San Carlos will also be helping us they will be deployed yun sa katong mga mountaineers nga na train they will also be deployed along the route of the trail so our objective as we have said, is to ensure safety and immediate response to our uh, participants. That also includes our responders. So, nag-set up na tadaan uh, a structure using the incident management team. So, I will be leading as the incident commander. So, we have our public information officer in charge. We will do na say in to give uh, official briefings no uh, mo coordinate sa atong PIO we have our liaison officers that would coordinate we have also our safety officers so nanatay gi gi appoint si CDMO has already appointed uh, operation section chief we have already appointed uh, our uh, planning section chief our logistics section chief to ensure all our responders ang tanan nila nga needs mahatag So, si planning siya ginawin mo sa plan all throughout, including uh, coordination with the operation. And we also uh, uh, appointed also the admin and finance section chief. So, uh, along na niya na pag mga divisions and sections. As we have said, we are using the ICS. CDRMO is an ICS practitioner. So, it's an international uh, incident management practice which is mo niya itong gigamit yun uh, ever since. Thank you, sir. All right. I think we can accommodate one more. And if you have a case, Natimampangotana, you can ask our panel members over lunch, right? So, pwede na to madoo lang later. Or if in case, especially our media friends have um, requests sa mga video clippings, we can do that over lunch. So, do we have one more? One more question? Yes, please. But from SMNI. Uh, my question goes to Mom Ivy. Ma'am, um, expected na din ang pagdagsa ng maraming turista. Um, how ready is the city of Danao to accommodate? And one more is, yung mga trailers po natin, dito ba sa Danao sila naka-accommodate or you have arranged something sa kanila sa other place po? Yeah, um, in regards to accommodation, uh, we are in the stage wherein uh, we are identifying already areas. Since Danao City has a very limited um, room accommodations in regards to the present status of our resorts. Um, one option is for us to train and register right now homestays um, within uh, the coastal area. So that's one option that uh, we are making ready of in case uh, 
we will have an excess of participants for the said event. So we are in the preparation stage for that now. Mom, thank you for the question. To add on to that, uh, we already have uh, reached out to Coco Palm Resort, uh, El Salvador, in Tucson. Uh, we also have uh, the, the NASA Echo Park for interested participants. Uh, this one be included in the online platform uh, they could choose. And then uh, they will be offering also discounts for our uh, participants. And thank you. Um, in anticipation of more uh, athletes that are coming, CDRMO also has its own facility where we can, uh, we have here our evacuation center, but it's a very unique evacuation center. It's an air-conditioned evacuation center that could accommodate 100 uh, people. So the LG also has uh, its contingency in case um, di na accommodate ng mga hotels, we can also provide, just like what we do for some other sporting events in the city that we are hosting. All right, thank you, Sir Jing. Okay, and that ends our open discussion, okay, regarding the event. So, for the record, lang, since this live streaming is ongoing, we, as promised, we will be giving prizes for on-site guest here katong katong nakalista sa attendance nga naa din hi automatic nya naa sa dang ato ang mga online via the now city government okay natay panghatag but before that um um we'd like to thank also our sponsors and we will be giving away fit bar to everyone later on oh Daghan kay salamat Fit Bar no for coming over and uh, may'd like to invite as well a representative the Fit Bar team leader for Visayas Mr. Frederick Beller to to share something please on behalf of Fit Bar. Hello good morning everyone. I'm Fred Beller of Fit Bar. A uh, healthy snack bar that will help you to be a best performance during your workouts and healthy activities and easy to consume anytime, anywhere. And we're having a bought sampling during the event. Thank you. Wow, great. Thank you, good man. Kainaagi si Ma si Maon. And plus a high nutritional value po nasha. So for the on site, I need 17. Sir Jake, please help me get 17. Ang di mo pakpak dili makadaog. For like on the on record lang, we will be giving away ten pieces of bad beat long sleeve long sleeves. I ship niya direct to the winner. Five comida foods. Kanisya kani for on site kanisya and two items from Rudy Project. For on-site, ang pinito uh, ka buok sa Rudy Project? Three. So we will be giving away two on-site and one for online. Right. So 17 tanan. So this will be the order, ha? Bad Beat Long Sleeves, Comida Foods, Rudy Project. Okay. Uh, order, ha? Uh, long Sleeves. Charmaine Balagoy. Yes, our media partner. Katrina Bianca Lau. Kaila magit ani. Roland Reyes. Oh, na ana mga sir, would you like to wave? Oh, wave kano. Kapaka na to sir Roland. Carmela Dosados. Gilang. Carlo Olano, Sir Carl. Lyra Valles. Nidia Ann Garbo. Julius Roy. 
Lawrence Bernard Lopping. Gipanglista ni ha, attendance ha. Pio Libertario. And last one for the long sleeves. A wave. Hala ka nice. O oh, sige lang, ato lang kuhaon si Pio. Daisy May Quizon. Uh, Nain na na, sir, no? Nalibat ko. Naam to'y usap kwa on. Okay. Pero si Pio, asa to si Pio? Murag na si Pio, di rin mo pa natangtang. Sige, let's add one more. Aldo Banaynal. Long sleeves, ha? Please take note. Ito lang i-review ang live streaming. Five Comida Foods. We have... Dili good ka, magut man. Hindi ko li. Marites. Bit, bit. We, matik, we. Her son, Ipil. Oh, we. French Lee. Perez. Pero naman siya gani ha? Nila kao pa. Sa dila nga ito na nila ka niya. Nidia May Oliverio. Frederick. Sir Fred. Wave sir. Ah, ito niya tag ni sir. Okay, and... We have Jerry Contilia. Oh, wait. Sus, mga, mga butan. Dito kayo niya itong mga panel. Jesse Atienza. And the fifth one for to get comida food, Charmaine Balago. Humana, humana ni. Humana. Oh. Jumelito. Jumelito Capilo. It's her zooms. Sige. Okay, and two items from Rudy Project. Kuhaon ni siya sa Ayala, no? Ayala, ito ni siya kuhaon. Ayala. Dili na. Wave. Sige. Hala, ihaya. Irish Nicole Avila. And Herbert Kikoy. Mga ni sila. So for the online winners via the Now City Government Facebook page, 22, Sir Jick, naadiri Sir Jick. 22, nasaguan yun ti karan Sir Jick. Sige, okay lang eh. Okay, naaraw siya record via live streaming. Okay lang na. Yeah. So sa ato ang mga viewers via the Now City Government Facebook page, you will win the following. Ten pieces ge happen of bad beat long sleeves. Ten gift packs from Comida, Comida Foods, an item from Rudy Project, and facial wash ge kan ni Kevlo. Sharo. Twenty two. Okay, to start. John Liu, if you're watching, congratulations, John Liu. Merla Lahaw Lahaw Ursula. Sa di lang, ato lang ni ipakita. I-post din ato sa page. Janice Joy Papaya Mecca. Now, we really have to read everything aron fair. Recorded siya. And ni John Jaldi Pasco. Merry Christmas. Joanne Aliva. Kim Lee Alas Casona. G. Barbie Lee. Lotis Grace Rumorosa Kalo. Misty Mecca Duque. Jen Lunor. Lian Lian. If you're watching, Tin Ferreira, si Mam Tin na kadaog. Automatic? Oh, matik, matik. Thank you, Mam Tin. Gengeng Gracia. 
Abte kaya ko ang asistan. Jean Stephanie Cascabel Nunez. Bernadette Bautista. Congratulations, Artem Borden II. Thomas Ian Vyloses. Tom Azun Merch. Gamay na lang, last four. Gong Ermita II. Man, si Gong. Rhea Rule. Kani, Rhea Rule, kay ato ni follower yun. Rodolfo Ignacio. And the last one, Mary Lafiel. Okay, we will we will post this via the Now City Government. Thank you very much, mga higala. So, ready na ba ta? Okay. Uh, all right. So before we end, we have here very short language ka ayon no, our partner from Yosana. So masi mahatagan tanda ng supplement. <laughs> okay. So please, na asi Yosana here. We will play the uh, Google Meet lang kadali lang kay naalay important lang uh, message si Yosana. So, to speak on behalf of Yosana. We have the uh, marketing of UHS Essential Health Philippines, Mr. Leo Kim. All right. We're, we're, we're live. All right, take it away. Sir, you're still muted. Please unmute your video.
So again, congratulations to everyone um, in the city of the now, in uh, the organization and the organizing committee, I mean. And of course, Ms. Deputy, you rock. Thank you very much. And all support for all of you um, for this venture. Again, thank you very much and good morning, everyone. All right. Thank you, Sir Leo Kim of USANA Philippines. Thank you. So, uh, this is it. Thank you very much for coming here, for sharing your time. We are very much excited, right? Are we excited? And how about our, our guests here? We are very excited as well. And uh, you won't, so yet you won't forget the details. We will be providing it no, along the, as the day progresses. So don't forget to visit the websites we mentioned earlier and also including the Now City Government Facebook page. All right, now I'd like you to watch this video first. Just racing out there. You're not just passing the four peaks here in the Now City, but you're also experiencing the great outdoors that the Now City has to offer. The sunset, the sunrise, the people, everything, the hospitality. So there's no other time but now, and there's no other place but here in the Now City. Thank you very much, everyone. And before we proceed with lunch, I'd like to thank everyone here, our media friends, our partners, our sponsors, and our panel members. And let's end this with a photo op, okay? So, all right. We deserve ourselves a big round of applause. Again, kay salamat, dang salamat. So the photo op, how do we suggest any suggestions? They can just move forward sa table lang. Sa gawas lang sa table.
let's start with our panel members. Panel? Okay, our official camera is there. We need to have one. Make sure that you are notified. 